cryptocurrency dominated social media headlines in 2022, and two serial entrepreneurs saw an opportunity to combine its popularity with another emerging trend, newsletters. So what happens when you gamify a daily crypto newsletter that isn't stuffy or boring? The answer is a 250,000 plus subscriber list leading to an eight figure exit in under 10 months. This is the story of how Milk Road, a cryptocurrency newsletter incubated by Sean Puri and Ben Levy got started. Puri and Levy are both startup entrepreneurs that have started companies in the gaming and e-commerce space and had previously shut down a live streaming company named Blab. They had managed to get over 3 million people using their live streaming products, but struggled with user retention. Their biggest moment came with hosting a live stream on the UFC website, but they weren't ready for the web traffic and the stream caused a crash and burned their hopes of creating a unicorn company. So they took those key learnings from Blab and then went on to craft a new project that revolved around a topic they both had a passion for, cryptocurrency. They saw a market opportunity with an email newsletter as most of them made crypto hard to understand for common readers. They utilized their copywriting and design skills to bring a fresh perspective to crypto, calling their daily newsletter, The Milk Road. The content would take on the persona of a smart friend showing you one or two cool things a day that's going on in crypto and explaining it in simple, plain English. Puri is the co-host of My First Million with Sam Parr, who sold his content company, The Hustle, to HubSpot in 2021. The Hustle is a newsletter focused on business and steadily gained millions of loyal readers, which provided Puri with a blueprint on how to craft a successful newsletter strategy. The version zero of Milk Road was a Google Doc that was shared to Puri and Levy's friends, Circle for Feedback. They used Camo to create the now comic logo of the milk bottle and spent over two grand to secure the milkroad.com domain. By using the newsletter of the startup Beehive, they were able to establish a daily sending audience and easily track referrals for their cheap, Right. Despite Puri and Levy having no prior experience writing newsletters, the Milk Road gained an immediate traction with over 16,000 people subscribed in the first three weeks. Much of its early success can be attributed to the fact that their out-of-box marketing methods had not been seen before in the industry. To win over the true crypto fans, the Milk Road invested $1 million into a public crypto wallet and let their followers track the value of their investments in real time. Even though their investment lost nearly 70% of their initial value, they gained thousands of subscribers and broke into mainstream crypto audience. The lesson, crazy stunts are good, but wear a helmet if you crash, is exactly what Curry tweeted, reflecting on the wallet stunt. Seeing their portfolios getting wiped out was definitely tough for both Levy and Puri, but survived the overarching goal of the gimmick, which is, as Levy put it, to have the most fun and no matter what the price of the Bitcoin is. Six months in, the Milk Road has amassed over 100,000 subscribers and boasted over 45% open rate, which was well above the industry average of 34%. While Puri and Levy managed to go viral with organic marketing campaigns, the old and true method of paid social actually fueled the majority of their growth. Matt McGray, a growth marketer that worked on Milk Road, attributes a large part of their success to Facebook and TikTok ads. The Facebook ads actually drove over 150,000 subscriptions at a cost of $1 to 1.3 per subscriber, he said, on the Copy Blogger podcast. In addition to paid advertising, Puri and Levy were able to create a custom referral program, integrate polls, and develop unique newsletter features to provide Beehive, which is a startup newsletter platform that was created to help writers target their ideal audience. Tyler Dank, co-founder and CEO of Beehive, highlighted the unique referral program used by Milk Road. If a reader referred to a single new subscriber, they could get a report Levy had written called What 12 Crypto Whales Are Betting On. The Milk Road had established a clear market leader position in the crypto newsletter space, with over 250,000 subscribers amassed in just 10 months. With this rapid growth, why would Puri and Levy consider selling? Well, it all started with a random Slack message. How much would you sell this for? Puri messaged Levy on Slack one day. I don't know, Levy replied. Do you want to sell it? They went back and forth and eventually decided on a number. I'm good at starting things. I'm good at finding the something from the nothing, Puri stated on his podcast. But taking the something and just fine tuning it day after day, making it better, which is where most of the value is created in a business, is not something that I get super excited about. Puri and Levy were excited about taking this newsletter to unseen heights, but they knew they'd eventually lose their motivation and get burned out if they pushed past a certain point on their own. Levy originally started a partnership conversation with the co-founders of Bitfo, who eventually ended up buying Milk Road. Bitfo co-founders Kendall Saville 
and Mike Whitmayer were looking to create a nerd wallet for crypto to add to their portfolio of cryptocurrency sites, which featured ethereumprice.org, bitcoinprice.com, and playtoearn.online. Instead of starting from the ground zero, Seville and Whitmeyer knew they needed to tap into the existing audience of crypto readers, and both of them had been loyal subscribers to the Milk Road. In addition to strong subscriber base, they felt that the Milk Road would be an ideal fit with their existing media brands. Google has really moved towards rewarding brands that users were actually searching for, Whitmeyer said on the My First Million podcast in December 2022. Milk Road is being searched for hundreds of times a day, and that's such an indicator to Google that humans are actually interested in this brand. The negotiations got off to a good start, but the monkey wrench of the volatile crypto market derailed conversations multiple times. Seville described the state of the talks as a roller coaster, given the steep decline of crypto prices in the late 2022. Despite multiple roadblocks, the deal did end up going through, and in December 2022, while we don't know the exact figures of the acquisition, it's rumored to be at around eight figures. Pierre agreed to join the Bitfo board after the sale, and Levy continues to work on the Milk Road newsletter while it integrates with their existing branded content. Subscribe to the Founders Inc. channel if you're interested in learning more about these acquisition stories and early stage startup success.